How you doing, guys? A lot of people think I'm crazy because I'm usually up at 2 a.m., if not earlier, having coffee. You know, by the time I get to work, I'm wide awake and raring to go. By the time my coworkers show up, the good portion of my day is already gone. And they walk in like they just rolled out of bed. They're like, half asleep. And they did. See, what they do, and a lot of people do this, you notice the people that are late for work are always late for work. Why? Because they think 10 more minutes of sleep will help. So they hit the snooze button. They hit it again, and they hit it again. Well, not only does it not help, but by the time they get up, they're already scrambling to get to work. And when they get to work, they're half asleep. They would have been better off getting up the moment their alarm went off, but they don't. I have found this to be true. On the rare occasions, I've woken up and says, I'm going to get an extra hour of sleep. I've gone back to sleep. I'll wake up, and I'm totally disorientated. And it takes me forever to get my shit together. And this happens with people that decide to get an extra hour of sleep. It does not always help. I notice this with Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, these are a group of people that are always asleep. They know nothing except what they hear at the Kingdom Hall. They won't see real danger if it came and bit them in the face. But they'll see perceived danger that somebody put there. But they won't see the real thing. And it's not just Jehovah's Witnesses. I have noticed a good number of ex-Jehovah's Witnesses that leave the cult. They woke up to the cult. <clears throat> they saw through it, but they didn't benefit on leaving. Because once they left, they hit that snooze button. Yeah, they could tell you everything that's wrong with that cult, but they do not see any danger out there. As a matter of fact, if you point things out to them, and I've had several do this, and several of us have had this happen, they'll say you're crazy. You're a conspiracy theorist. They no longer want to see any truth. They know about the organ. That's as far as they want to go. But they think everything on the outside is a OK. And no, it's really not. There are many of us that see through it. And unfortunately, there are many that don't see through it. I had mentioned, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, I had posted something about the fires in Hawaii on Facebook. And two ex-Jehovah's Witnesses found it amusing. They left little laughing emojis on my post. Didn't leave any comments. <clears throat> I didn't even say anything. I left it there for a while. But I'm thinking, what was so funny about thousands of people being killed losing their homes, their property. And what was funny about it at all? I couldn't figure it out. Now, I don't know if they were laughing at the post. They didn't like the post. But these were two idiots that obviously can't see the nose in front of their face. The veil is still in front of their eyes, and they can't see squat. And so many ex-Jehovah's Witnesses are the same thing. I am looking at so many that did not benefit from leaving, they saw through the cult, supposedly, but they might as well be right back in the Kingdom Hall. If you're not seeing through the veil on the outside, if the smoke is still clouding your vision, you might as well be right back in the Kingdom Hall. Over the last few years, I've seen a lot of ex-Jehovah's Witnesses that I personally would not have anything to do with. There's very few that I'm actually talking to right now. I notice this more so on Facebook than I have on YouTube. But that's kind of why in the last few years I've kind of backed it away. I don't talk to too many people anymore. Because, well, first of all, I'm pretty much past it. Um, over the whole XJW thing. And pretty much we all know what's going on with the organization. I'm more in tune with what's going on on the outside. Now, I'm not saying everything's bad on the outside. But look what's going on. People need to wake up and see through it. Stop hitting that snooze button. Whether you're an XJW or not, stop hitting that snooze button. Because it's not benefiting anybody to go back to sleep. Unfortunately, this is what the J-Dubs wanted me to do my last few months in. Was turn a blind eye to what was going on. 
The thing was, I realized, I thought for sure at first that others were seeing what I was seeing. Then I realized that they weren't. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. They must know what I'm seeing because they knew exactly how to defend it. And the thing was, they were more comfortable with the lie than knowing the truth. And that to me was pretty damn disgusting. <clears throat> that to me, you're half asleep. You believe what you're told just because you're more comfortable with it. And they're just happier living with that lie. I couldn't live like that. No matter what they were telling me, there was just no way I could put everything aside, go back to sleep, and continue going to the meetings like everything was okay. And some of the stupid things that they would say. Now, I'm obviously done with the Kingdom Hall. I'm done with Jehovah's Witnesses. And the unfortunate thing is, there are many ex-Jehovah's Witnesses that I would have nothing to do with. If they're not seeing what's going on, if you find something funny with thousands of people being killed, being burned out of their homes, then I personally don't want anything to do with you, and I don't care whose feelings I hurt. Anyways, guys, that was just something I wanted to mention. Except one thing. Look at all your organizations, whether they be your religions, your political elements, your big corporations. Whether you want to admit it or not, they're all tied in. They're all working for the same person. And each one of them has their small percentage of the population that they keep in subjection. Your religions, all your big religions are into it. They are not to be trusted. Your major corporations, they're all out to put out your mom and pop stores out of business. In time, all you will see are major corporations. And as far as your political element, any Anybody who thinks that politicians are going to come and save their ass? No, I get news for you. No, they are not. Any institution that you think is going to come and save your ass? No, they are not. Any religion that you think is going to save your ass? No, this shit's about to hit the fan. And all these organizations, whether they be religious, political, or corporate, they're all on the same page. They want to keep you needy. They'll all dangle that carrot. See, without them, most people will crash. People don't know how to grow food anymore. People don't know how to survive anymore. And that's what they want. And everybody who's putting a blind eye and think that everything's fine, no, it really isn't. Be very careful who you trust. Do not trust your religions. Do not trust the corporations. And definitely... Don't trust your politicians. Anyways, guys, that's all I've got for you today. You all have a good day. I'll be talking to you soon.